everyone, welcome to another tutorial on Ethernet IP devices from TR Electronic. In this short video, we are going to discuss how to change the count direction of a rotary encoder and use scaling parameters to set the resolution for our application. The first thing you want to do is set the IP address of the device that you are going to configure. Now in the interest of keeping this video short, I have already done so and if you're looking for a resource to guide you through that process, I recommend you also watch our tutorial videos on rotary and linear Ethernet IP setup. I will list the links to those videos in the description below. In today's example, we will be working directly in what we refer to as our configuration assembly. This is a set of controller tags that is denoted by a colon C after the device name. Navigate to your controller tags and expand the configuration data. The first parameter you will see is Direction Counting Toggle, which is a data type bool. You should notice a default value of 0 in this tag, which means the encoder is set to increase count values when clockwise motion is applied to the shaft. If changed to a 1, the device will increase count values when counterclockwise motion is applied to the shaft. A good rule of thumb for orienting yourself with the encoder's direction is to hold the encoder so that the shaft is pointing to the ceiling. The last step is to save the data to the encoder, which can be done a few different ways. The first is by performing a class 3 explicit message instruction and selecting service type device reset like the example shown, but don't forget to set the communication path. You can also power cycle the device, however, this may not always be convenient at times. The easiest way is to simply go into the device module properties and inhibit the communication between the device and the controller. Then, uninhibit and apply the change, and you should now see that the encoder has taken the parameter and is now increasing count values in a counterclockwise direction. The next part of our video is how to scale the measuring system. When we refer to the measuring system, we are talking about the encoder's internal unit of measurement. This unit of measurement we call steps. If you go back to your controller tags, you will see two tags. The first is measuring units per span, which more simply put is the number of steps within one complete revolution of the encoder's shaft. The second tag is total measuring range in measuring units. This is the maximum value that the encoder is going to count to before rolling over to zero again. Together these two tags are used to set the resolution and we're going to go over two examples of how this is done. Take a look at some of these calculations I've done for a 15-bit, 13-bit and 12-bit resolution encoder. In order to determine the maximum resolution for your device, refer to the datasheet. My example device is capable of 15-bit single turn resolution, which is 32,768 steps in one revolution. The first thing I'm going to do is define the value of my steps in one revolution. Then I'll define the total number of steps that the measuring system should count to which in my example is equal to 134,217,728 total steps. From there I'm going to reset my device, which is going to reconfigure the encoder's internal measuring system to my new scaling values. I want to quickly mention that you can also use the connection faulted tag from the encoder's input assembly to indicate when the measuring system is connected or disconnected from your controller. Now that my device has reconnected to the controller, you can see that the max value has changed and when I revolve the shaft one full rotation, I'm incrementing approximately 32,768 steps. The second example is how to scale the encoder to output degrees of rotation. This is fairly simple as all you need to do is define the number of steps in one revolution as 360 and a total number of steps which is also 360. Reset the device and once it has completed its boot sequence, you can see that the measuring system has successfully been reconfigured to output 360 degrees of rotation. That's all the time for today, but if you enjoyed this video, drop us a like or check us out on our website, www.trelectronic.com.